Hello friends, this is Imanshu from Code Campaign, and we are continuing with our boundary module. So today we are going to discuss about the boundary traversal of the binary tree. So again, in which companies this questions this question is being asked. So let's go back to our geeks or geeks. So it's been asked in Microsoft, Amazon, PayU. So uh, this is a very famous question. Most I have heard like it's been asked like I've seen a lot of my friends they are being asked this question in Amazon bar is around so it's pretty famous in Amazon community like people ask this question a lot so okay let's go back so it's worth solving this problem okay so prerequisite for this video is binary traversal so if you know the binary traversal uh, you will be able to solve this problem I hope you guys have seen the binary traversal if you haven't seen just uh, you know, click on the pop-up that is being shown on the <coughs> right top of your screen. It will take you to the binary traversal and you can see the video and then come back. Okay, so, okay, let's discuss this problem. So what is a binary a boundary traversal of the binary tree? So boundary traversal is pretty simple. You have to traverse along the band boundary of the binary tree and you have to print the boundary of the binary tree. So, okay, so suppose we are starting from here. So what we'll do, we'll first traverse along the left boundary. So we'll print the elements which are there on the left boundary. So first we'll print the root, then we'll print the second node, then we'll print the third node which is along the boundary. Then we will go around the bottom boundary. So bottom boundary, what are the elements which are coming? Six and eight. So we'll print six, then eight, and then we will travel around the right boundary till we come back on the starting position. So what elements we are going to encounter? Seven. We are going to encounter three and then we'll back to one. So this is our binary. Oh, so this is our boundary traversal of the binary tree. Okay, so, so how we are going to write the code for this problem or how we are going to approach this problem. So if you see closely what we are doing here, we are first printing the left elements of the binary tree then we are printing the leaves right so first we are printing the left elements which are up till here then what we are doing we are printing the leaves of the binary tree and then what we are doing we are printing the right elements of the binary tree in reverse direction like we are starting from the bottom and then we are going up right so we can segregate this problem into three parts so these are the left elements these are our leaves sorry uh, so these are our leaves and these are our right no right side of the binary tree in reverse right so if you know uh, how to do the traverses so you have seen the previous videos in which you know how to uh, print the left side of the binary tree right you already know how uh, you saw the video in which I'm uh, I shown I shown you how to count the number of leaves in the binary tree. So the same way you can print the number of leaves in the binary tree. So you know this part also, and then you know how to print the right part also, right? So if you if you have watched up till now all the videos that I have posted, you should be able to do this problem on your own. So I would highly recommend you pause the video here. You go back and uh, you know solve the problem on your own. You write the code, and then if you are unable or you, uh, to solve it, or if you are stuck somewhere, then you come back and refer this video again. Okay, so uh, we will directly jump to our coding part and write the code uh, for solving this problem. Okay, so let's switch to our ID. So this is our ID. Uh, uh, we have to again go back to our traversal util because we are going to write a traversal which is a binary traversal. So, so let's start writing the code. So first of all what we have to do, let's switch back to our PPT. First we'll write the code for printing the left uh, side. So we'll uh, write the code for printing the left nodes except the root, uh, except the leaf node because leaf node uh, we'll cover in the second part and in the third part we have to print the right side of the node except the leaf node and in the reverse order okay so first write the function for printing the node 
of the left side except the leaf node cool so print left nodes except <coughs> leaf cool so again accepting the root and same old cliche check if root is null just don't do anything okay so right now okay what we have to do we have to avoid leaves we don't need to print leaves so and you already know what is the condition to check if the node is a leaf node the left children and the right side children both should be null right so we identified the leaf node here and we don't have to do anything we just ignore it so we ignored it now what we have to do okay so now let's again go back here what we have to do we have to print our uh, left side of the node so when we are starting from here we have to print the root node then we have to again move to the left then you have to print this node and then uh, we'll come here so this is a leaf node we'll ignore and then our problem will end right so pretty simple so first uh, okay for moving to the left side what we have to do call the oh, copy something again same recursion oh, we have to move only to the left side so we'll call only the left side and the other part is what before moving to the left side so before moving to the left side what we are doing we are printing the node also right so yeah so before moving to the left side let's let's print the node so yep yeah, root <coughs> data so we printed the node so okay uh, now let's go and check if this thing works so i already constructed the tree to save some time so let's call directly our traversal util uh, yes and pass this root and check if you're printing the left side of the tree excluding the leaf so one and two so let's go back here one and two are the left side excluding the leaf so so far so far <coughs> so far so good now let's move back to our code again so now what we have to do we have to print the leaves right leaves so okay let's write the code for printing the leaves first stop debugging cool so now we have to print the leaves so let's write the code for Printing the leaves. Void print leaf of binary tree. Again, we'll accept the root and Okay, now what we have to do here <coughs> we have to check if the node that we are getting is a leaf node, right? So let's check that. Okay, so we checked if the root that we are or the node that we are getting is a leaf node. We have to print the leaf node, so let's go ahead and print the leaf node. So we printed the leaf node. Now, what we have to do? If it is not a leaf node, what we'll do? We'll traverse. We have to traverse the whole tree to get or to print all the leaf nodes. And if you see here, first we are printing the left read, uh, left leaf node, and then we are moving towards right. So first we have to move towards left, right? Basic in order traversal. If you have watched already my previous video you know how to write a basic 
in order traversal so it's very elementary code now okay so now let's go back and check if we are able to print our leaves let me comment this part so yep let's run this code and check if this works okay it's 468 468 so far so good we are able to print our <coughs> uh, leaves as well now what we have to do we have to print we have to print the right part but the catch is we have to print it in reverse order okay so <coughs> what uh, what we were doing here when we have to print the note first we were actually doing a pre-order right first we were printing the root and then we were moving towards the left and here what we have to do we have to print the node uh, in the reverse order right in the reverse order so what we have to do here first we'll move and then we'll print the node so what what does this algorithm called this is called post order right so let's go ahead and implement here and we want to only move uh, print the right nodes right so we'll do the post order but we'll only traverse towards right okay so cool so now let's write <coughs> this part as well print right nodes except leaf right cool so having said that again old cliche if condition where we ignore and then again we'll come here now we have to do what we have to ignore the leaf nodes right because we don't want to print them so let's ignore them Okay, so here are our leaf nodes. We don't want to do anything, so we'll say, okay, return, don't do anything. Now comes this part, right? So first what we'll do, we are doing a post order, but we are doing only on the right part, right? So, yep. so only right part. And then what we are doing, post order, we'll print the value of the root. Uh, value of the node so which is node data okay so let's come back here just the code print the right okay so cool. let's see if this works I have to print right nodes in the reverse order so seven three and one let's go back here seven three and one we ignore the leaf this is great what <coughs> there is one more thing we are printing one here again right we already included the one into the left part so we have to ignore the root node also so how we are going to do it pretty simple we'll pass first we have to stop the debugging we pretty simple we have to pass or we have to pass uh, the root right side to start with so we will just ignore the root because we are passing the right side of the root and we are starting recursion from the right side so now let's see yep we remove the one so now our all three functions are ready now just write one more function <coughs> which says boundary reversal of binary tree <coughs> okay and this guy will call all these three functions in sequence so first it will say print left
then it will say print leaves sorry here root 6 will not we have to pass only root and then this guy will say print write the only thing is we have to pass write here okay so let's go back and call this function there remove all these three we'll remove all these three and let's call the function okay let's okay this is saying some kind of oh should be traversal okay so let's run this code Oops. let's compare with the output that we had So one, two, four, six, eight, seven, three. So our code works. <clears throat> okay. So now uh, let's discuss the time and the space complexity of the problem. So if you see here, what we are doing, uh, we are uh, uh, in the left part. We are traversing only the left node. So uh, we are traversing left node and then uh, in the leaf part we were traversing actually we were traversing all the nodes only we were printing the leaf node so we were traversing but all the nodes we were doing a we were doing there the complete uh, pre-order traversal but we were printing only the leaf node so we were uh, covering all the nodes and in the right part we were doing only the traversal for the right nodes right so if you see here uh, so if you see here in this case we traversed only suppose two nodes and in leaf case we traversed all the we traversed all the nodes so it will be one two three four five six seven eight so we traversed eight node and then in this right case we traversed only we traversed only we traversed how many nodes one two three and in this case we traversed three right so including leaf just we didn't print but we went till leaf in this case we also went till leaf so we'll will print three so how many nodes we covered uh, covered 14 right so if you see here this is again a linear number like if if you have uh, suppose n nodes so so you will traverse suppose uh, in this case we had how many nodes we had eight nodes we traverse 14 so in case of n suppose at most we will travel two times of the nodes we had right but it's still linear right still linear so the bigger time complexity will be we will remove the constants so it will be o of n right so the time complexity will be of this algorithm o of n right because in the worst case scenario we will traverse two times of the node we will not traverse more than that right and this is again a linear function so it will be again o of n and the space complexity as we are using the uh, recursion so recursion internally will use the call stack if you don't understand it you have to go watch uh, the videos that i made on recursion you will understand that it internally use the call stack so uh, in the call stack you will be storing the elements so in worst case scenario you will store ma at max all the elements so if you store all the elements so the elements are n so your space complexity will be o of n right so so our time and space complexity will be both o of n okay so that's all for this video uh, <clears throat> if you like the video please go ahead and subscribe my channel like the video and if you have any queries or question please put it into the comment box if you want to have a discussion further on this programming problem you can put it into the comment box we'll have a discussion there and uh, thanks for watching my video <clears throat> we'll see you next time